friends, I'm Hannah. And I'm Jordan. And we're from Shoestring Science. And um, the investigation that we're doing today is a little bit of a departure from what we usually do. It's still science and STEM, and it's still really, really cool. But most of the videos and activities on our channel are things that you can do at home. Today's, though, is a little different. It is really cool to watch, and even though we are still using a lot of household materials, it's not something that we want you to repeat. Jordan and I are actually trained professionals, though we are often very, very silly about our science. We are trained professionals, and the experiment that we're doing tonight, or investigation that we're doing tonight, is one that we have to follow a few different kind of safety protocols with. We have to make sure that we're following COVID safety. We have to make sure that we're following fire safety, and we also have to make sure that we're following chemical safety protocols. So this is a really cool one to watch, but not one to repeat. We're going to make so. sure we film all the best angles, though, so that you could enjoy it at home. All right. So with that kind of scary intro out of the way, Jordan, it is really exciting to be filming another investigation with you, although super strange to be at this distance. Yeah, it's definitely weird to be talking with you over a screen instead of face to face, but I'm still super stoked for the investigation we're doing today. Me too. I cannot wait to get into it. So what what are we doing today? So today we are combining the glory of colorful 4th of July fireworks with the seasonal joy of jack-o'-lanterns. Wait, wait, we're lighting stuff on fire? Yes, but sciency. We're doing sciency fire. Okay, but like science fire. That it that has to be the best type of fire. I am so excited. How how are we gonna get fireworks into pumpkins though? How how is that gonna work? So we're not gonna get the big booms of fireworks, but we will get the colors inside those pumpkins. We're gonna be taking some of the chemicals that can be used to make different colored flames and putting them inside pumpkins with some hand sanitizer for fuel. And we should get different fire colors like green, red, and orange. So you're telling me that what we are gonna do is light chemicals and hand sanitizer on fire and hope that we get kind of rainbow jack-o'-lanterns? Exactly. We can use some even household chemicals to create different colored flames. For example, boric acid will burn green and lithium should burn red. Yeah. That is so amazing. I am so, so very excited to light science fires and get a chance to see all of these different jack-o'-lanterns with different colors. I absolutely cannot wait. Luckily though, you don't have to wait because we're gonna cut to it now. Why do the different chemicals burn different colors? Why do we see those different colors when they burn? Yeah, so all of our chemicals are made of different atoms, different combinations of elements and atoms in our world. When those atoms get exposed to fire, they get a lot of energy in the form of heat. In particular, the electrons that are inside of those atoms absorb that heat energy and get more and more and more excited. Eventually, they have to calm down. They have to release that energy out. And instead of releasing it in the form of heat, like the fire, they release it in the form of light. And then our eyeballs see that light as colors. That's so cool. So the different chemicals that we put in, we should see different colors because as the electrons get tired, kind of like a sugar crash, we'll see a different color. Exactly. Wow, that was so amazing to do. I'm so excited we got to do that investigation, and I feel like I learned a lot about chemistry today. I did too. Plus, I got to light things on fire, which was pretty neat. Always a plus. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining us for this investigation. 
uh, while we did this one over video, we do have some more experiments and investigations that you can do at home. With household materials that you can find and things that are totally, totally safe. Check out the rest of what we've got and hopefully we've got more to come. Yeah, I'm super excited to get more into science. Well, I've been Jordan. And I've been Hannah. And we're Shoestring, Shoestring Science. Science.